how to select an algorithm for the Azure machine learning common question people asked it now we come to it after seeing the framework which machine learning algorithm the learning algorithm should I use what is the business question you want to answer so now Microsoft is putting into the domain this is a very difficult question to answer business question you want to answer while learning from the past data take for example we have the images of mountains in the Middle Eastern region Middle East in Africa I want to find the correlation between the amount of snow on these mountains and the yield of the crop in that region amount of snow on the mountain with the yield of the crop in that region which UNO does every year the UNESCO UNO they do such analysis every year in critical regions of the world where humanitarian crisis can happen because of food safety and all that because if such crisis happen it is not they are not going to send the table spread from the heaven right so it would basically they have to plan it predictive analytics has to be developed for it so a lot of researches have been conducted so business question is very domain specific highly um, once you get a lot of information about the problem then only you can ask it's not that directly we can ask business questions what are the requirements of your data science scenario specifically what is the accuracy that you need your thresholds right so depending on what you are trying to do how critical that is you have to evaluate your uh, thresholds sometimes you have to optimize for some end goal sometimes you have to optimize for some other end goals in case of Ebola we were optimizing for true positives in case of COVID we were trying to optimize for true negatives the reason is the R0 value of Ebola is pretty low R0 value means the coefficient of spreading how fast a particular disease spreads or a virus spreads so Ebola spreads very slowly but it has a high mortality rate if you catch it unfortunately you're gonna die but it spreads slowly so my aim is to detect positively highly positive positive individual has to be classified as a positive individual that is my goal false negatives have to be minimized true positives have to be increased that's the end goal in in covid r not value is very high the degree of spread of covid is very high mortality rate is low very low people so many people died unfortunately because it is it spread very uh, fastly right across the entire globe became a pandemic but it's R0 value is high but its mortality rate is low so the aim is to go ahead and classify negatives as negatives you are not you're not positive go home there is no need for you to quarantine there is no need for you to be stigmatized and there is no need for you to be classified as some kind of an abomination and no you're not negative uh, you are not positive right negatives have to be negative because most of them they will, those who come to the uh, covid detection center they would be positive high chance is positive so if i get false positives that has to be minimized negative should be negative so you have to see training time how much time you have linear model non-linear model number of parameters dimensions of your input vector number of features your solution supports 
lot of things we have to answer the question on so here you will see business scenarios of machine learning so they directly take you to that machine learning designer takes you to the comprehensive portfolio such as decision forest multi-class recommendation systems neural network regressions and these are all state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms that are available and then they typically bring you to the cheat sheet that you will have to understand what do you want to do predict between two categories binary classification answer simple two choice questions like yes or no true or false spam or not spam answer questions like is this a or b you can use two class support vector machine if you have a feature vector that is 100 features under 100 features it's going to produce a linear model linear correlations two class averaged perceptron so that's based on neural networks fast training linear model fast training neural networks two class decision forest accurate fast training so that does not make any sense accurate fast training so this will only be we will only be able to understand once you see how it works two class logistic fast training linear model two class boosted boosting and bagging fasting large memory footprint large memory is required ram is required is high two class neural accurate long training times classify images rest net and dense net residual networks and dense class replay would be available i think in 24 hours if azar can please uh, confirm predict between several categories multi-class classification answers complex questions with multiple possible answers image tagging what is the main subject of the image oh it could be various things so for instance if we have this image let's say to classify so this image is given this is of george washington right so if you take this image single individual is involved but if the entire class is the presidents of united states the united states you would have i think 46 right 46 total 46 so out of those 46 multi class you have to predict only one right one of them but if you take that hollywood president mountain so if we take this one it is multi label right so within this image multiple people are involved so this is one this is one this is one this is one individually they have to be identified classified so this is abraham lincoln george washington thomas jefferson and whatever i don't know all the four so you have here two are most prominently visible here so yes so that becomes a multi label classification so you have over here what what are they saying uh, multi-class logistic regression multi-class neural multi-class decision one class versus all multi-class one class one some of them even we have not used multi-class boosted generate recommendation discovers a predict value so this would be more popular regression make forecast by estimating the relation to values so there has been one case study right that even you may try out if you can collaborate with some of your quickly we will finish and move towards the main question so basically so let us say we have some data i'm just taking a single variable right so single variable e that is the experience in years otherwise you can take other dimensions as well i am just taking one variable so i am developing a prediction function which is the which is the 
f of e. My prediction function is a function of e. Right? It could have been multiple dimensions. Okay, but e. And here it is salary in USD. So generally, as the experience increases, you get better and better payments, right? So let us say this is the data of various people on the glass door or whatever the website is. But I'm just randomly drawing it. So maybe outliers as well. But generally we are seeing we are looking at a trend that as experience increases, there might be outliers as well. We cannot say always be like that. But generally a trend would be there that as the and then it tapers off. Right? Until until and unless they promote you to a partner, you gonna it's gonna taper off, right? Saturate it will plateau. So if you were to fit a linear model to it, a linear regression line to it with the principles of least squares, minimizing the square error. Then I'm just trying my hand, right? So it could something be, it, let's say the least square error line is uh, something like this. Where the error that is taken into account is, let's say this is the, this is the value of X, which is this E, experience E, and the, model prediction is this line predicts this this is the predicted salary and this is in reality the real salary correct this is prediction this is real right so this is real so this is real salary so you take the square differences and you try to minimize that average of the square differences root mean square error. There are some algorithms that take this distance perpendicular distance, which means this part is this like this. Right this thing PS RS and then the line is going like this this perpendicular distance which is other classes of algorithms so you see this one so now we can model it as a linear although there would be it would have been better if we could fit some inflection line to it a third degree polynomial because if you have an inflection point then it would be typically better to to basically have a third degree polynomial but if we make it a linear look something like this so this is the intercept c the line has a certain slope theta so this is 10 of theta okay slope m so the equation of the line would be y equals to m x plus c that is salary in a particular year e experience is equals to m what is m by the way theta what is slope for a unit increase in experience how much the salary increases for a unit increase in year how much the salary increase so that would be appraisal every year that you we can expect so that is expected appraisal expected appraisal for a unit increase in a year next year comes one year duration expected appraisal unit increase in a year how much salary can be thought to increase expected appraisal 
x means e plus c what is c no experience zero experience but you are given some money we are given some money what is that pressure salary if we were to fit a linear model using the data we could develop such a regression model which takes in the experience you have and tells you as per the model what could be the salary in that year depending on the appraisals fresher salary of that carrier and now this is highly subjective right if you are a pass out of iv league you might be getting what an individual will get after 10 years so it's highly subjective it's not i'm saying extremely objective but just a model in picture so here you have these right you can use them so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you have any doubts or any queries regarding anything that was discussed in the video then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure data scientist certification demo along with some question and answers if you want to register for this free class then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash dp1002 moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface just click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right save this link to your calendars and i will see you in the free class till then take care and keep learning